Okay, we're going to begin graphing by actually plotting points. That is, locating points on the coordinate axes. Right now, I'm going to increase the size of the grid. We call this the coordinate axes. This wonderful little uh, uh, magnifying glass up here will do that for you. And notice you can choose normal. You can choose medium or you can maximize. Uh, maximize takes over the whole screen. So probably that's not really ideal. How about medium? Because we can always adjust medium. Let's see. We can make medium a little bigger. Yeah. So let's do that. OK. Here is the point that I am going to plot. OK. It's got a 1 and a 3. The 1 lines up with the horizontal axis here, which is called the x-axis. And the 3 lines up with the vertical axis, <clears throat> which is called the y-axis. So the point 1, 3, if you start at the center, will be 1 to the right, and then 3 up because this point right there lines up with 3 on the y-axis and 1 on the x-axis. So I am going to drag and drop this point to where I want it. I'm going to go out to 1 on the x-axis and I'm going to go up to 3 on the y-axis now notice how these lines are lined up with 1 on the x-axis and 3 on the y-axis. So I can be pretty sure that I'm where I want to be. And when I am where I want to be, when I've put the point where I truly want it, I click Save. Then I click Check Answer. Well done means I have it right. That's all there is to the mechanics of plotting points on my math lab. <clears throat> but of course, locating points can be a little more difficult until you get used to it. So let's do some more. Now we're going to be looking for the point 4, 2, 4, 2. And there are always parentheses around points. I realize that makes them look like intervals, but when you're told to plot parentheses 4, 2, parentheses closed, and you have a coordinate axis over here, then you know that that means to plot a point. All right, so I'm going to increase the size of the graph, make it a little bigger, well, a little bigger there. Now, 4 lines up. This is the point 4, 2. 4 lines up with 4 on the x-axis. 2 lines up with 2 on the y-axis. And I've found over time that the easiest way to do this is to left-click here on the dot, drag it out to 4, and then up to 2. And it does like to move around, so you have to be careful. Um, and then I double check the straight lines that come down and to the side of the point. Um, this, this straight line lines up with 4 on the x-axis. And this straight line lines up with 2 on the y-axis. So I'm ready to save and check my answer. Now for number three, I'm going to get that wrong at first so you can see what kind of what my math lab does when you get a wrong answer. All right, negative three, two. The x lines up with negative three on the x-axis, and the two lines up with y, uh, two on the y-axis. Um, I'm going to go to positive three, two. And I know that's wrong. I'm going to do it so that I will get the wrong answer after I make this large enough to see. 
because for sure somebody my age can't see it. There we go. Okay, so instead of going to negative 3, 2, I'm going to go to positive 3, 2, and drop the point, and save it, and check answer. Oop! Sorry, that's not correct. And I'm told what I did wrong. It tells me I graphed the point 3, 2 when I should have graphed the point negative 3, 2. It, it says, in other words, you moved the wrong direction horizontally. This is a pretty smart computer. All right, well, let me try again. Um, yep, I'm going to make this bigger. Okay. I'll take this, I'll go back to the beginning. I'll go to negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and then up 2 because I want the point negative 3, 2. I drop, I save, and I click check answer, and now it likes me. Aww, isn't that great? Okay, none of these. Well, let's do this. Okay, it's yelling at me. I'll do number four. Okay. Now, this is negative one on the x-axis, <clears throat> negative two on the y-axis. On the y-axis, the negative numbers are down. On the x-axis, the negative numbers are to the left. So I will drag and drop after I make this bigger. I will drag and drop this point to the left 1 and then down 2. And that lines up with negative 1 on the x-axis and negative 2 on the y-axis. I save and I check answer and I'm told I did it right. All right let's do a couple of more. Ooh, terrible, terrible. We have fractions. Let's see, find the approximate coordinates of the point shown on the graph. And here it is. And notice it's up here at 4. So for sure, the y coordinate's going to be 4. So our answer will be either A or D. But it's not quite to positive 1. So, I am going to guess that the x-coordinate, it's certainly not negative, is it? So it could only be a because 4 fifths is almost 1, and that's almost at 1 on the x-axis, and 4 on the y-axis. So I'll click on a, check answer, fantastic, oh, I'm so fantastic. I should have made this bigger. I completely forgot to make it bigger. There you go. That would have been much more visible. Always increase the size of your graph if you need it. Ooh. Okay. We can do this now. 3 on the x-axis is pretty easy to get to, but negative 4.25 means negative 4 and 1 fourth. Now notice that between each whole number, you have 1, 2, 3, 4 points. So this would be, for instance, let, let's start at 0. This would be 1 fourth, 2 fourths, which is 1 half, 3 fourths, and then 4 fourths is 1. So, I will go out to 3 on the x-axis, and then down to 4. Now that's negative 4. I need to go 1 fourth more to negative 4.25 right there. And, oops, there, save, and 
Check answer. Oh, no! To plot the given point in a rectangular coordinate system, begin at the origin. I did. Oh, look, it moved. Dog, gone it. All right, I should have double checked my lines. Look at that. All right, I really needed to move it over to three. I thought I did, quite honestly. All right, you're going to make me start all over again. Duck on it. All right, three, and then straight down. You've got to be really careful here because it likes to wiggle around. There. Now, this, this line goes up to three on the x-axis. This line goes to four and one-fourth, which is 4.25, negative 4.25 on the y-axis. Now I'm going to save. Now I'm going to check answer. And it says that I am correct. OK, I would like to find this. There you go. 0, negative 1. 0, negative 1 means that I go 0 in the x direction and 1 negative 1, in other words, 1 down in the y direction. That is the point 0, negative 1. Let's save it and check it. Yes! Ah! The line graph shows the average price adjusted for inflation. Let me make it much bigger. This is called a line graph. This is how what we're doing is used in real life. The line graph shows the average price adjusted for inflation that people have paid for a gallon of a liquid product for selected years since from 1970, um, it looks like, to 2010. Over which period of years did the greatest increase in the price of a gallon of liquid occur? And about how much was the increase? Well, each of these is five years, right? So I guess that would be 2005. This would be 1970, 1975, 1980, 1985, 1990, 1995, 2000, and 2005. Um, for sure, the greatest distance that, that you know, the, the greatest change in height, I should say, that occurs in a five-year time period looks like it would be from 2000 to 2005. This looks much a much longer length than that. So I'm going to say 2000 to 2005, which is right there. So I'll close it. Yes. Whew. Okay. Now it's asking more. About how much was this increase? I don't know. I'm not even sure I care. But Nope, bad attitude. All right, this looks, see, this 2.4. That would be 2.6. This would be 2.8. I'm going to say 2.5. And this is 1.2 to 1.4. 1.2 to 1.4. So I'm going to say 1.25. So we're going to have 2.5 to 1.25. If you subtract, which is how you would find this difference, that would be 1.25, $1.25. So how much is the increase? They're not saying what is the final price. I'm going to take a chance and say 1.25, $1.25. Hold my breath, turn around twice, and click 
check answer. Yes. Okay, but I was just guessing. Number 10, you're going to be doing the same kind of thing. In real life, in real life, we actually use this. We use lines for lots of important things, and we plot points for lots of important things. So enjoy plotting points.